All right, guys, welcome back. Norwegian lock picker here. I was uh, going through town today, and Ace was calling my name, so I swung in and picked up a different lock, something I haven't picked yet. Um, I know it's a master lock, but uh, this is their M930 uh, XKAD LH or LH. Um, Max pick resistance, um, level 10. So I, uh, as you can see, it's completely in the package. I haven't done anything with it. Uh, look almost like it's, it's probably been sitting on the shelf for a while. It's had some people picking at the weather cover coming off, the paint's falling out of there. Um, they're, if they're quality and everything there, demonstrates anything of what's inside I guess that's going to be really interesting so let's see if we can get this thing open um, you know what I think I'm going to just leave it in the package I'll leave the keys on there for right now and just go right to picking right out of the package well this weather cover is going to be Probably going to be a pain in the butt, but we'll see if I can get it locked up here without removing it from the package. Okay, broke the keys loose. There's the bidding, not too bad. Ah, I'm going to take it out of the package. Maybe. Get it out of there without hurting myself. All right, we got it. Okay, everything. It's not a um, no spring in the shackle, so it doesn't pop open automatically. But it is a um, key retaining, and it has a tension spring on the core. So we'll be fighting that. Alright. Pinned up. Oh, locked up, I mean. Clamped up. Let's see. Let's see if a 50 thou will fit in there. And the 50 thou fits real nice. Okay, this weather cover is going to be a pain in the butt. Let's see if I can get that tucked into the vise here. And then I will adjust the vise here so you guys can see the core. Let's see where I'm at there. fit in there a minute ago. Alright. I don't think I'm going to be able to get in there to get a mark on this one. So I'm going to start off with a standard hook. I haven't unpackaged my spare Tron yet, so... All right, on zoom, fumbling around here. Okay, it says five pins. Okay, medium light tension. 
five, four are springy. Feels like three is bound up. And there's a nice quick uh, three. Let's see here. Big click out of one. Almost felt like an overset. Of course, really floppy in there. Click out of four. Click out of five, a little movement on the core. Let's see here. There's just a little click out of three, I think. Okay, two is bound up. I think felt almost like feedback on two, but maybe not. Okay, we're open. You can see the shackle behind there. That's uh kind of disappointing that they don't have a a spring in the shackle. That's half the fun listening to these big heavy locks clink open. That seemed really easy. I wonder if I can, uh, wonder if I can rake that. That was a little bit of fight there, I guess, but it wouldn't surprise me if this one rake open. Core flops around a lot, so nothing on the first attempt. It feels like some security pins binding up in there, but might have to go to the bottom of the keyway tension here. Really light tension. Start off easy, go bigger. And I'm getting nothing there. Okay, let's try, let's give it one more good attempt here. See if I can find a tension wrench bottom of the keyway that will go in there. <clears throat> With that weather cover on there. See that that one's binding up. That's not gonna work. Let's see if the medium size will. Oh, that one feels like it's binding up too. I'm sure the small one's gonna be even worse. Actually, you know what? I think that small one just might do it. It's kind of laying flat across the bottom of the keyway there. Can't tell if it's binding up or not, but let's give it a shot. And this one, I'm going to try the octa rake. Feel some pins locking up in there. Good sign. Reset, give it another shot. It's hard to tell on these springy cores if you're getting anywhere or not or if you got enough tension or not it really makes raking difficult and I think my looks to me like my wrench is not doing what it's supposed to do there I'm gonna try it with the top of the keyway one more time if it doesn't go I'll just pull it out and we'll see if we can break this thing open and see what they got inside of it I never have much luck raking with top of the keyway tension because the 
tension bar always feels like it um, kind of blocks pin one. Ooh, I felt some movement on the core. See if I can jam them in there. Lighten up the tension a little bit. Go back. No, I don't think I'm getting it. set there that I can click on a one there or two um, oh. let's see that was a click on a three or four with some core movement I must add some of the pins set. There's some feedback there on two. I think it's two. He doesn't want to go though. I heard something drop. Click out of three. That felt like a sheer line. Click. Three, two. Oh, there it is. There's got to be a security pin or two in there. Oh, and then I dropped it, but I had it open again. All right. <clears throat> Keep the key here. Get my picks back on the tray there. Back you up a little bit here so you can see. Destroyed the package, but easy enough to get into. Yeah, that's uh, just can't believe they didn't put a spring in the shackle. That's kind of weird. All right, Phillips, Phillips screw down in there. I don't know if this screwdriver is going to be enough. Oh, yeah. Kind of gummy feeling. Must be some Loctite on it. Screw doesn't want to come out of there. And I think I got to pull this weather cover off. And then the um, nut on the back side was holding the cover on there. All right, we got our faceplate and the core. And there is no bypass shield, so I could have just bypassed it. it screws on a Almost feels like it's on a retainer in there somehow, but so here's the inside of it. Wonder makes me kind of curious if I could put a spring in there somehow on a shackle. I don't know. I'll have to play around with that a little bit later. All right, let's see if I can get this core open. I got this. I ordered a little pinning kit off of Amazon, and I got this little quick set tool for snap rings. Let's see if that works any better than the Sparrow's gut wrench. No, I haven't had a whole lot of luck with that gut wrench. I 
just doesn't seem to fit most of the things that I am trying to take apart. Okay, I'm going to shim this thing. Alright, let's see if I got a follower. It fits it. Looks like it fits it, but doesn't quite have the right end. Hence the shim. Turn that up a little bit. Okay. Looks like it has the ability to be pinned with six pins, but once again, they only put five in there. Pin one, standard. Pin two is a standard. Pin three, zoom up here a little bit. Pin four is a standard and pin five is a standard. All right, we'll start from the front of the lock here. This is pin one. Standard pin two is a standard pin three is a standard hmm what do you think max security pin five and pin four. All standard pins. That's disgusting. I'm sure there's probably a hundred of these videos already of people tearing apart this very lock, but I was just curious. I have uh, done a video already on the, um, I have an Ace lock that's similar to this one and a true value lock that's similar to this one and uh both of those had were loaded with security pins this one not so much it's kind of surprising that i couldn't rake it open i might have to give that another shot but there it is master lock magnum i mean this is top shelf uh, high security locks. This is their top of the line for padlocks. <clears throat> I wouldn't uh, wouldn't trust much with that one. I'll probably uh, probably make some new pins for that one and actually turn it into a decent lock. So, all right. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, don't forget to uh, stay legal, and if you don't respect the keyhole, shouldn't put your pick in it. Thank you.